Hey everybody, it's me, Gardner the Linux Gamer. Here I am today. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, I everybody has sent me this video. I've received several uh, requests to talk about the Linus Tech Tips video that just came out about Linux, uh, Linux gaming. And um, so yeah, here's my hot take on Linus Tech Tips. Uh, what's this video called again? This video is called Linux Gaming Finally Doesn't Suck. That's, that's the name of this video here. So let's watch this video and, and see um, what all the fuss is about, shall we? So in our previous video, we discussed the rabbit hole method of gaming on Linux, showing off some of the, uh, <clears throat> well, more involved methods to get your game on penguin style. And in a massive surprise to no one, we got a bunch of angry comments from Linux people. But their, um, actually, outrage wasn't entirely misplaced. I can actually definitely see how the average viewer might watch that video and think, wow, gaming on Linux is really hard. Yeah, that was my biggest complaint about their last video. Uh, the one with Wendell in it. And, and I love Wendell, but like, that came in at a very high level. <laughs> that that high of a level was like way over my head. It was way beyond what the average person needs in order to play games on Linux. And 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 frankly, it was it was intimidating even to me. I've been using Linux for 12 years, 12 plus years. So it's like guys, I was I literally watched that video and I was like at the end of it I was like guys, oh guys, oh guys. <laughs> But, it, you know, it was a fine video for what it was, but I felt like it, it kind of missed the mark. Um, so I'm glad that they're acknowledging that, at least. <laughs> so we pretty much took it for granted that because many of them are on Steam, native Linux games don't really need a how-to. Mm. You know what they say about uh, what happens when you assume, right? It, it, they say sometimes your assumptions are wrong. You see what I did there? But that was before Valve unveiled some very cool new tech under the hood that has the potential to change the gaming industry forever. I don't think he's exaggerating there at all. Um, PC gaming will inevitably move away from Windows for the simple reason that Windows is dying. It's an obsolete platform and it's made to uh, to to maintain legacy compatibility with software from the late 90s and early 2000s that like industries rely on, you know, like point of sale machines or uh, people who play old PC games. And the fact is Microsoft is actively pursuing an agenda that leaves that uh, compatibility, that functionality in the past. The, the modern versions of Windows are slowly uh, excising compatibility with old software and and you know if they don't have that then they have nothing to offer the the software world nothing that's why valve made proton in my opinion um it's one of the several reasons but yeah i would agree i think that this has the potential to change the gaming industry forever let's continue i'm not even exaggerating it's called the proton api and as it turns out you know that arcane stuff that wait a minute proton api <laughs> i don't know where api came from i get stuff wrong sometimes people call me out on it i'm not gonna call them out on it i just that's oh well i mean api that's funny <laughs> so what we want to do today is see if it lives up to the hype step number two is to make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date. Now, for some distributions, you may need to download the driver from Nvidia's website, like on Windows. No. But on Ubuntu, no, no, all no. we need to you do is load do up that. a terminal, then type in sudo or sudo Ubuntu drivers, auto install, enter our password, uh, and know, bro. wait for the tuxedoed magic to happen. <laughs> Can I get like a magic sound effect from the editor? Now, using Reboot the NVIDIA X server settings program, we can see that we've got driver 390.48. Uh, that's a pretty old version of the driver. You, all right, you definitely want to 
uh, get the latest version of the graphics drivers. And if you're on Ubuntu or an Ubuntu-based distribution that has compatibility with this, get the PPA, the graphics drivers PPA. It's officially maintained by Canonical, uh, and it'll give you the latest version of the stable release of your graphics card driver. The latest version of the graphics card driver is... 396.54, so there's several versions out of date here. There's a video I made about graphics drivers here. Uh, I'm running 396.54. Yeah, so I'm on the latest version. I would recommend that you uh, get the PPA uh, if you're on Ubuntu or one of its derivatives um, because that's where you're going to get, you know, optimal performance, first of all. And, uh, greater compatibility, better uh, implementation of Vulkan, um, it's, it's gonna be better for you. Step three then is to install Steam. For Ubuntu, that's as easy as clicking download, just like no. you would on Windows, then run- No, 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 you don't wanna do that either. The download of the dev package, that's a minor annoyance in, from my perspective. You should, I, I would recommend getting it from the repository. Um, you can, I mean, while you can trust the software that's coming from Valve, more or less, I wouldn't trust software from any randos website. I, you know, if you want to install a, a, a package, you want to make sure that it's being maintained and it's for your system. Um, so, and that's where you get your software from, is from the repository. So you go into your soft, uh, into uh, the Ubuntu Software Center, and uh, you go in and, and just type in Steam and it'll come up. If it's not there, you I have I made a video about this and I made a video about the graphics drivers. Uh, I'll have links here. Definitely want to get your software from your distribution maintainer. It's a matter of security. It's a matter of trust. It's a matter of love. It's easier too. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So in the case of Deus Ex Mankind Divided and other Steam Play titles, we actually don't need to do anything with Proton. We can just fire it up and run it just like on Windows, albeit with usually a significant performance hit. Like, I, I don't want to mm. oversell the Linux experience. I just want to make it clear that Linux is not to blame for a lot of these shortcomings. It's typically I mean, down to poor true. driver optimization from the video card manufacturers. Well, I mean, the state of graphics card drivers today is significantly improved on Linux. I mean, compared to where it used to be, especially. I've heard experts say that we're approaching uh, performance parity with Windows. Um, the issue that we face now is a lack of debugging tools and a, a, a general lack of experience with Linux on the developer's part. I'm not blaming developers uh, for negligence or anything. I'm just saying like they might not necessarily be as familiar with uh, Linux as they are with Windows. It's, it's one of those devil you know kind of situations. <laughs> Um, but when it comes to writing their software for another platform, one that is fundamentally different from what they are familiar with, it's going to be different. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be awkward. Um, there's a lot of blame to go around and, 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 and it's not necessarily blame actually. It's, it's just the fact that, uh, it's a different architecture. It's a different way of working. And, um, there's going to be some, uh, awkward teenage years when people are switching from from windows to linux which is the inevitable solution that we all uh yearn for <laughs> all right let's continue yeah, it's not bad at all actually blah, blah, you're dead blah, 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 blah. yeah so the gaming experience then is just like on windows yeah okay then so why don't we go with Doom, which actually needs an update here before we can start it. It's running really well. And like, it's very responsive. I haven't seen, I saw maybe one thing that I could describe as a hiccup. Other than that, it's butter smooth. That really is incredible. This is a Windows game and I'm just running it like Bob's your uncle. That's been my experience with a lot of Proton games. Um... It's an interesting thought experiment, right? If you, if let's say that like Bethesda or id released a native Linux port of Doom, right? And let's say that um, for the sake of this thought experiment, they put a significant amount of time into developing this port. 
how would Doom's native performance compare to the game running through Proton? To be quite frank, I think that uh, the native port would be slower. It would be a bit choppier, and overall there'd be less polish in the performance department. I don't know if that's controversial to say or not, I, I, that's, but that's kind of my perception of it. And it's not because devs are doing anything wrong, and it's, it's just that they have less experience, like I said earlier. And the fact that the Windows binary has had more time to mature and it had more expertise behind it. It's an interesting thought experiment because Doom runs flawlessly. It's one of the most buttery smooth games I have played on Linux ever. And it's also one of the most graphically intensive games I've ever played on Linux ever. And that's kind of crazy to me. That's interesting. You can actually tell Valve, which is cool, which games you want them to work on or if you have issues or if they work fine by using their newish platform specific wish list function. I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> there are there are tools that are really good out there that you can I'll have a link down in the description of tools you can use to get the best performance out of Proton. Um, anyway. For now, why don't we start with uh, PC Building Simulator? Ooh, okay, this one doesn't run very well. Blech. And I didn't try it in OpenGL yet. Actually, I'm gonna try it in OpenGL. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, let's shut this one down. All right, well, the secret sauce uh, to playing uh, your Windows games on Linux is going to be playing games that have OpenGL or Vulkan support, because those games are able to take advantage of the native APIs on your system where games that run DirectX are having to go through a translation layer um, and that induces performance penalties, generally quite significant performance penalties. Although some, so I will say the uh, DXVK uh, is pretty streamlined as far as I've seen, but um, yeah, you're, it's best to use OpenGL or Vulkan uh, drivers or implementations in the games you play. And now for something completely different. Monty Python joke. Some of the kids will get the reference. I get The it. old kids. I'm, I'm old. Log out! <laughs> I thought force quitting stuff is supposed to be easy in Linux. Terminal. Do it in the, no, I can't even get the terminal Did you run out of memory? Oh, control alt function F2. Oh, and she's locked up. She's Can done. She's done. Okay, Grand Theft Auto V is taking a little while here. Should should this one launch? Uh, no. no. Oh, okay. So you knew this. So you knew this was going to happen. You're just messing with me. Okay. So much for that. There are some great resources out there uh, to be able to get your games running through Proton. Um, not every game is going to work, but there are some tweaks you can do. Uh, I'll have a link down below. There's uh, spcr.netlify.com. And uh, it's got some awesome information down there. Um, some entries on the PC Gaming Wiki I've found have some interesting reads. Uh, but yeah, if you can, you go over to their website. Uh, it's uh, spcr.netlify.com and you can uh, search for games, see other people's reported uh, problems with the games that they're trying to run and how they were able to get them to run if they could. Uh, it shows what uh, driver they're using, it shows what distro, and what their PC specs are. So that's pretty cool, very useful. If you're into tweaking and, and you wanna, and you're, if you're new to Linux, this might be a good way to, uh, to start messing around with, uh, to start messing around with your file system, how to tinker with uh, settings and stuff. It's actually quite interesting. Speaking of here be dragons, Skyrim might be working. That actually even seems like it's running at an okay frame rate. Dang. Skyrim works. I'm gonna bloody my fist on this rock. Blah, 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 blah. And you're dead. Blah. I'm probably screwing up whoever saving game this is. Whatever. I'm probably a loser anyway. That's okay, I'll fight it with this ax. Well, let's see if it takes out this guy. Whatever, this guy sucks. Let's take his clothes. All right, that's probably enough of that. All right, I like seeing this. This this is what I like seeing, okay? This is really cool because this is what's important, all right? 
This is what's important when it comes to games. What's important is having fun, you know? And, and it might seem like, duh, obviously, but it's, it's evident here that Linus is having fun, okay? As a nerd, as someone who loves computers, I find Linux to just be fun. You know, like I don't fight against my computer when I'm using Linux. Yeah, you, know, you know, I don't, I don't have to like trick my computer into doing what I want it to do. I just get to do what I want, and my operating system's like, You're, yeah, well, no problem, bro. Let's go have some fun together. That's what my operating system sounds like. But that's like that's what's most important is having fun, and I find like Proton is a lot of fun too. That's something that's really interesting to me that I never thought that. I always found tweaking wine settings to be to be not fun, <laughs> to be grueling and and um, uh, esoteric. <laughs> but this, like, with all the people uh, helping, and with the fact that like that Proton is made specifically for games, it's fun. I enjoy it, and that's really impressive. And and. Yeah, this is uh, I I'm digging this video so far despite the uh, some small <laughs> technical issues. Not everything works that well. Uh crisis is a DRM fail, so it's actually the the DRM crap that won't run, not necessarily the game itself. And then PUBG is a similar story. In yeah, these case, are problems that the, the developer is going to have to solve. That um, fails to install. For sure. This one is running pretty pretty though. It should be noted that this particular game supports hair works in Windows, but not in Linux, and that was true of DXVK too. But does hair works really enhance the experience that much? There you have it. I guess the real takeaway here is that we want to give the less Linux savvy folks out there a little bit more of a push to give this a try. Yeah, I agree. However, Proton is still in its infancy. And it's, well, it's not quite ready for prime time yet. It's a promising and exciting technology. As long as you understand that some games aren't gonna work with it and you're willing to fiddle with some knobs and tweak some buttons, Proton is a rewarding and uh, enthralling experience. So then is the year of the Linux desktop upon us? In my opinion, not yet but it does feel a little different this time. To use uh, like a train analogy, the train might not be here yet, but I also wouldn't throw on my noise canceling headphones and take a walk along the track that it's approaching on. <sighs> That's a weird but weirdly apt analogy. <laughs> There has been a shift in sentiment. I'm, I have felt it, and I'm sure you guys have felt it too. This idea that Linux is some niche group of people that don't deserve attention of software developers, that's falling away. That's old attitudes. And, and people are starting to realize that Linux is the future of gaming, at least on the PC. Well, no, no, at least on the PC. The, the, uh, I'm pretty sure that the PlayStation Classic is going to use Linux. The, uh, PlayStation, the uh, uh, Super Nintendo and NES Classic Editions use Linux. It's the future, man. Like, Linux is the future. So I want to thank Linus Tech Tips for making this video because, well, despite a few technical factual errors, this is a great overview of the state of Linux gaming as it is today. Um... It's kind of surreal for me to see Linus talking about Linux gaming favorably or seriously, but now that they are, it's lending credence to the idea overall, and that's really awesome for us. Anyway, that's my take on the Linus Tech Tips video. Um, but I want to know what you think. Do you think it's a great uh, overview? Or do you think he got a couple things wrong and, and it's unconscionable? Or, or are you, uh, you know, more on the... Uh, cool everybody's on board camp that's where i'm at um leave me a comment and let me know or hit me up on twitter at the linux gamer um if you believe in the work that i do you can support the channel with a monthly contribution over on patreon or you can pick up a t-shirt there's a link below yeah but no matter what you do whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe to see more from me the linux gamer and as always thanks for watching <laughs>